Hello everybody, welcome to Coding 101. My name is Scootlot. In today's special video, I'm going to be teaching you how to send emails, but not just emails. I'm going to be teaching you how to attach documents to your automatic emails through code. Literally, you're not going to be doing manual attachments anymore. You're going to be attaching multiple or various documents like uh, maybe PDF documents, uh, Word documents, uh, PNG uh, images, uh, JPG images, all that type of stuff. So you're essentially going to be learning how to attach multiple documents to your emails before you actually send them to uh, your clients. Now this situation can come up a lot um, in programming, especially when you're dealing with uh, a and the type of uh, application that deals with clients you might want to send things like invoices automatically imagine if you have like a 100 clients you can't attach or, or send invoices or let's say maybe a thousand users you can't uh, send uh, to, to uh, a thousand invoices to each user individually that's going to take up a lot of time so why not create an automatic way for you to send those invoices using code so that's what I'm going to be teaching you today. I have a couple of videos uh, that I did previously that teach you how to send emails through this package known as NodeMailer. So if you haven't checked that out, if you haven't checked them out, or if you're not familiar with NodeMailer, then you might want to check out those videos. But it's still fine if you don't want to check out those videos because um, we're not going to be doing anything hectic. Um, but I just, just a heads up, you might want to just like. Um, check out those videos just to get your uh, your your ground proper without wasting much of your time um let's get into our code um so wait but before that if many of you are not familiar with node mailer you can also visit nodemailer.com this is an excellent API that allows you to send emails so easy and so efficient and so fast. I've been using it for a couple of years. It has never failed. So if you're just learning about it, just go to nodemailer.com and find out a little bit about it. But now let's get back to our code. This is the code that we had previously used in order to send uh, an HTML template uh, to an email or to a receiver. So this was the one that we used previously. So this code over here allows us to send uh, an email without any attachments. So what we're going to do uh, in this uh, video, we're going to improve this code by including attachments into our videos. So that's essentially what you have to do. You just go to mail uh, configs and over here you just write attachments. And inside of attachments, uh, you make that an array because that might be you might want to include multiple attachments, which is fine. You just want to put like a comma over here. So Node, Node Mailer gives us instructions on how to send attachments. So the first thing that it requires from us is a couple of information where that file is located or if it's possible to directly input the URL or the URI of that file. So this is how you can do it. You can like um, literally uh, give the file name and then give the file directly. This is not a file. Of course, this is just a word. So in this situation over here, the file is going to be created and this word is going to be inside of this text uh, document. So we can just try this out and see how this works. So this is going to be a text file with the word hello world inside of it. So we're just going to use that to send an email. We're just going to put it, put that in there. Okay, so I already had curly brackets in there, so that's why it's giving me problems. So you know what? Actually, we're just going to try multiple um, ways of like actually doing this. And then the other way that I'm going to check out as well, let's go back to the Node Mailer website, is we can also create a buffer, a binary buffer as an attachment. We can do that as well. That's no problem. We can also use base64. We can just like uh, literally insert base64 into this and yeah, we can insert base64 and we can make it as an attachment. But in this case for base64, all you need to do is to provide the base64 path and you don't need to do any uh, to give us the file name or the content. Um, yeah. So on this path, I'm going to provide the base64 link like that and that's going to be my attachment right there. Okay, and then the next way that you can do it is by literally providing the URL or, or yeah, the URL for where your document is located. I'm going to do that as well. 
So this one you can just put the file name over there so that you can be a little bit specific on the name of the file. So maybe I want to put in my resume, you know, say resume.pdf, and then I'm going to provide maybe the path. So I'm going to give it a cloudinary path over here, like that. So now I'm going to use Insomnia in order to run this um, route. I'm going to wait for it to run. Email has been sent successfully. I'm going to check my email now. Go to Gmail. There you have it right there. Testing coding 101 email. And here are our attachments that we just made right now. So you can just see from the outside preview uh, the attachments that we made over there. So yeah, so that's how to send emails using attachments. Nothing too difficult. Um, I will send, I will place the source code in my description uh, box. I tend to forget to put uh, the source code on the description box. So if I haven't, please comment so that I can put the source code down there. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time on Coding 101.